All right, one more quick video. Um, you know, stuff like this sometimes it can uh, it can bother you to the point that you know you're chasing just minuscule amounts of tolerance and run out and things like this. So I decided to uh, I went through, but I didn't video it. I put the indicator back on the encoder body and I loosened the set screws and changed positions for probably 30 minutes checking the run out, checking the run out, about three thou, give or take a little bit, so, you know, uh, total run out, so about all I could, the best I could do. Uh, so I decided to put it on the shaft and see what's on the shaft going into the encoder itself. Uh, and that's where we're at. Find some interesting results here. Uh, we got about a thou. We got about a thou. So all of the wobble that you see in the other video of the encoder body is actually the encoder's fault. It's not my fault. Um, not that you know I'm trying to assign any blame or anything, but I'm you know just trying to get the run out uh, as little as possible. And I watched a YouTube video from a company that sells these things. And, uh, you know, they, they showed an, an illustration of uh, putting an indicator on the body, uh, checking, uh, you know, checking the run out. And I said, well, that makes sense. So I, I went ahead and brought it over here to the, the mounted coupler. And, uh, well, you see it. I'm turning it, you know, about a thou, maybe even a little less. It ain't quite going to the thou mark. It ain't quite going back to zero, but we'll call it a thou, you know. Um, I don't know. You, uh, you guys can discuss it. <laughs> All I can do is show you, show you the results. I, um, you know, I machined that shaft until the point to where I had to take, you know, just a skim cut on it, very light to where it'd slide in the coupler so the set screws wouldn't pull it off to one side. I was very conscious of that when I machined it. Um, you know, took great care in, uh, you know, setting up the, uh, setting everything up and, you know, the encoder moves around a little bit, but you see what's in the coupler going into the encoder. I, I don't know. That's a half a thou aside. That's pretty darn good if you ask me. So, uh, you guys bounce that around and, and, uh, see what you think. I mean, obviously I'm going to have to live with it one way or the other. Ain't a whole lot I can do about it. Uh, I guess if there was three set screws or four set screws in this coupler, uh, you know, we could play with the uh, set screws and get the housing to run true, but then the input shaft would be the one wobbling. So what do you want to wobble? You want the housing out here to wobble or the input shaft to wobble? So, I don't know. You know, it may live 20 years and never have a problem out of it, but I just thought I would show this to you guys. Um, anyway, have a good one. This is my Saturday project.